Hello and good morning everyone. Um, today we are down in Glenmore. Uh, so Glenmore is just uh, outside of Abbeymore um, at the edge of the Cairngorm National Park. Um, so yeah, we're, we're down here today and I'm going to take you to one of my favourite places that's uh, quite an easy, easy hike. Uh, and that place is Anlochan Wene. And I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, uh, but translated it basically means uh, the little green loch. Um, so yeah, we um, parked here just on the, on the side of the road here in Glenmore. Uh, great parking option during the kind of quieter season. Um, can get pretty busy pretty quickly during the summer months. Uh, but there's also plenty of car parks in the area here. Uh, of course, car parks you've got to pay for. Um, but the roadside parking here is, uh, at least for now, it's still free. Uh, Alright, so for the hike today, uh, there are a couple of different paths that you can take to get to the loch. Uh, we're going to take uh, my favourite path to get there, um, and then we'll take a different one on the way back. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the video, and I uh, hope you enjoy coming along with me. off this trail now. Uh, you pretty much just walk up past the reindeer centre uh, then you've got a couple of houses on the right. Uh, just past that last house uh, this trail here starts and uh, that's our way to go today. So one of the reasons why I do really like this uh, upper trail to the loch is uh, that you get some pretty great views along the way. Yeah, just have a have a look at this. So that's the that's the Cairngorms. You've got Cairngorm itself just up there and surrounded by plenty of other mountains. It's uh it's the middle of March at the moment. And as you can see there's still a good bit of snow up there. Uh, but we are expecting heavy rains later today and it is also quite warm. So it will be interesting to see how much snow uh, is left over after the next couple of days. getting close to the highest point of this trail so we're going to start dropping down towards the loch uh, pretty soon but for the moment here from this point you can actually kind of see the trail of the uh, lower path to get to the loch just there at the edge of the, the tree line uh, so yeah that will be the one uh, we'll be returning to Glenmore on uh, in just a little while but yeah for now gonna keep continuing this way. All right so uh, this next section that's just ahead of us is um, pretty much the main reason why this higher path is my favorite one to get to the loch. Um, as you'll see in a moment uh, the forest road turns into a smaller hiking path and uh, it just makes it feel like a little bit more of an adventure uh, down this path 
compared to the lower route, which is a, you know, just a nice gentle um, path all the way through, pretty much. So uh, we've been by the loch for a, for a little while now, uh, just taking taking a break, you know, having a sip to drink. Uh, also, like always, little Snickers, uh, my favorite snack in the world, pretty much. And uh, yeah, just in general, enjoying the peacefulness here. 
uh, we've got plenty of bird sounds in the background. You've just seen some uh, birds take off, off from the from the water, and yeah, it's just a really really nice spot to to spend some time. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, time to head back. Uh, as I said earlier, we are expecting some some heavy rain uh, later today. And I would definitely prefer to get back to the car before that hits. Uh, so yeah, gotta pack up, start making our way back uh, along the a different path through the forest at this time. So one last look at the, the loch. And uh, as I'm seen, as I'm sure you've seen from uh, this video, um, makes sense why it's called the green loch. Uh, color fits so so clear, and uh, the green sheen on it, absolutely beautiful. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna start heading back up to the trail and uh, head back towards the car. So at this point we've got two options again. If we head uh, straight ahead we're gonna come past the uh, Glenmore Lodge Outdoor Centre and from that point on uh, we'll be walking uh, right beside a single track road that leads us back out to the Reindeer Centre. Uh, very easy, straightforward, probably the uh, quickest way to get between Glenmore and the Green Loch uh, but we are when we're walking, I do usually try to stay away from cars as much as possible and you do sometimes get quite a few cars on that road. So we are going to turn left here, um, where the path is slightly longer, but it uh, it's a lot, lot quieter and just personally find it a nicer trail. So we're going to go that way. So we're at another crossroads here. Um, both paths are eventually going to get you to the main road again. Uh, but yeah, we're going to turn right as uh, that path a little bit further down will 
um, lead us right along a, a stream, a little river, and uh, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna head down here. main road our cars just up there and one more look at the Cairngorms for today all right everyone we're back at the car uh well yeah that was a nice little walk wasn't it um so it took us about just over two hours round trip um quite quite easy straightforward uh do you think it's you know great to do with kids as well and then especially if you do this in the summer you know you might even even decide to go on a on a little swim either at the at the green loch or at the end of your walk uh, here in glenmore in a uh, loch morlich who which is a uh, you know absolutely stunning uh it's definitely another another walk i'm gonna take you on at some point and uh, just in general uh, i absolutely love it here in in glenmore uh abby moore area um, so yeah, we'll we'll be down here plenty more times. Uh, yeah, there's so many walks and hikes to do here. You know, lots of uh, lots of day hikes, uh, but also you know a little bit bigger stuff. Uh, maybe at some point this summer, gonna take you right into the Cairngorms National Park. Uh, might do some overnighters uh, there at some point. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back here. Um, but yeah, now it's time to to head back home. Uh, that rain's definitely coming soon. I just checked the weather app on my phone and it says it should start raining in about 25 minutes. Uh, now the weather forecast up here in the Highlands not always uh, that accurate uh, but yeah I do fully believe that that rain is coming and uh, gonna have a nice easy afternoon um, at home today. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed our little outing today. And if you do want to see more of my adventures, uh, please follow. Bye.